So on this channel about two weeks ago, I told you guys to take a look at the rune token, not financial advice, of course, but let's take a look at why I think this token after doing it 2x since then still might have some room for growth. Let's get it. Decentralized. Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo i'm your host jay and today let's talk about rune token ust luna what's coming for this ecosystem and why i think it is a nice catalyst for the rune token to have some nice nice growth in this upcoming market i also want to talk to you guys a little bit about these bitcoin charts and the total two charts because they are looking very interesting trying to turn around hitting some very critical levels on the way up now this could be pretty big we're seeing that all coin is trending so we're going to take a look at these charts and see if that is actually coming we're already seeing some all coins doing some pretty nice numbers so if you're excited about that like the video subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed to the channel let's get this money together let's get it right now the first thing i want to talk about real quick i'll go through it real quick is this bitcoin chart so i'm looking at bitcoin on the one hour and it's pumping above those moving averages like i like to get above but on the daily chart though we can see that we're above the 13 and 34 over the last couple of days but this level right here 44,600 dollars look the total the 200 moving average on the daily came down and it's right about that area that's the area to beat Bitcoin has to pump six percent can we get a six percent pump out of bitcoin and things will be looking really nice down here we have this volatility uh, vortex indicator that i start using because it's pretty accurate actually shout out to damn i forgot his name shout out to the, the youtube video i saw that talked about this indicator but the total two right here is breaking out might not be breaking out actually i could move that up and that could still be valid right now it's trying to cross the 13 and the 34 we'll see if we can get above there but the cool thing is we got above the 13 on the weekly let's just hold that one step at a time if we hold that we are looking good so looking at this rune chart right here because i'm pretty excited about rune we're trying to get above the 13 and 34 once we get above there we should have a nice catalyst for that but why rune thor chain token why am i so bullish on this right now so since i talked about this two weeks ago the price has definitely done a 2x it's got up it got up to about 950 and it came back down right now at around 837 and when i talked about it it was 446 so almost a 2x right now but it definitely did do over a 2x if you were in um that trade but why do i think this is going to happen well got to back up a little bit there's a couple reasons the main net was one of the main ones this token has been around for a while i think they've been working for longer than three years and they're finally going to have a main net that is a big time for a token this is when all the stuff that they've been working on trying to build is actually going to come into fruition and just be set um rune is a decentralized protocol for shop for swapping um bitcoin so what's interesting about this other these other things that are coming up for the token is and um yeah you know what i feel like being outside right now it's kind of nice outside super nice out here had to get some sunlight even though i put on sunglasses and a hat kind of uh opposite of what i said right but yeah anyways uh what was i saying about yeah i wanted to talk to you guys about this whole terra luna and ust um well, UST is a stablecoin of Terra Luna algorithmic stablecoin. They had some big news uh, that dropped today that got everybody excited. And we seen yesterday that the CEO of the Luna Foundation, I call it the, the Let's Fucking Go, um, because it's the LFG. Um, the Let's Fucking Go said that they were gonna buy up to 3 billion in Bitcoin. And they said in total, they wanted to buy up to 10 billion, but that'll be over time based on, you know, they got to sell different assets and stuff to get that money so they can't do it all at once it's not even really good for the bitcoin price to do it all at once but they showed on chain on chain that they bought some bitcoin it got wrapped on the cosmos blockchain and then now it's gonna be used for backing ust which is pretty pretty dope that they got all that money and all that stuff you know back in the 
the uh, UST token. That's kind of the problem with stable coins is we got to make sure they're backed by stuff. So UST doing that is going to be dope. Now, the reason why I'm talking about it in regards to Thor Chain is because UST and the Luna ecosystem launches on Thor Chain probably shortly after the mainnet launch or maybe even before. I don't know, but I don't think how could they launch, you know, before the mainnet launch? Like, that's kind of stupid. So I'm thinking as soon as the mainnet comes, that's going to be going live. And that means that this is probably one of the first times, if not the first time, you can swap a stable coin for a Bitcoin in a decentralized way. So, you know, ThorChain is a, is a swap protocol that allows you to swap you know coins on their native blockchain so you'll be able to take a bitcoin wallet and swap for any other asset or something like that and i'm pretty sure i'm not i'm not sure how good the gopro audio is so if audio sucks then i guess i'll just do it back in the house but yeah uh so that's basically what's going on so now the thing that i'm excited about for rune is that you know to have a protocol that swaps like uniswap the main important most important thing is the liquidity and uh, rune is going to be used as that liquidity token so it creates buy pressure for rune you know you see a lot of people excited about that of course you know and then now there's going to be a ust uh, btc trading pair on rune now this is just going to be pretty good for the rune token overall mainnet launching is already going to be good for the token overall so pretty interesting things going on there so uh i would definitely say look more into the the details all the technical details of what's going on with the the um thor chain with the luna integration on thor chain see i'm over here just at the park i should have brought my basketball don't think they could water the grass right now because of the drought and over here they're building something i don't know they're always trying to build up in san jose but um yeah so pretty excited about the market right now i want to see the total two and bitcoin close above some of those major levels on the weekly um, because we can have these these little pumps in between all these pumps that we have could be just corrections you know coins are beat up pretty pretty big you know and they could these could just be corrections and then they can go back down so i want to see us confirm some some uptrend some upside on these weekly charts but nonetheless it is looking um looking like it's we're getting momentum to the upside now there is the other news that i announced and i said the market usually gets it wrong when the fed said that they were only gonna raise the rates by 2.5 i think you know i was expecting them to do it more even though they said they weren't going to do it anymore but whatever um it's a cow train tell y'all this should be the new rucker park who remembers uh nba street nba street ball that was the game that was the game on ps2 that was the game or was it playstation ps2 or playstation um but yeah anyways so pretty uh i lost i lost my train of thought right there um but there's a bunch of projects that have a bunch of updates coming and it's just looking pretty bullish on the fundamental side now i found this tweet that said fa is what to buy which is fundamental analysis and then ta is when to buy so that's that's pretty pretty much how it is for those people who don't understand like why I look at charts and the news. Some people are just like, the charts don't matter, and some people feel like the news don't matter. But one is what to buy, one is when to buy. So when you have a coin that has some good fundamental analysis and a nice chart that looks good fundamentally, you usually get these nice, interesting moves on these charts that we like to take advantage of. So if you would like to get into my Telegram group so we can discuss some more of these low cap Jimmy Jims, try to find them before they hit 100 to 1000 X, let me know, you'll get a link for that. Um, yeah, check out my website, Everything Currency Crypto. Shout out my boy Cameron for the, this hat. This is his brand, uh, Tyranny. I'll put a link for the website 
for that just to support go ahead and support that should have went to the lake but gas is seven dollars a gallon in california so i said you know what i don't feel like going to the gas station right now <laughs> 